Hello, I'm Uncle Tacker. And I'm Spike. And we're here to do a short workshop on slapstick, otherwise known as physical comedy. We're going to show you how you can hit your brother and sister. Uh, safely. Yes, and without hurting them. You see, it's not about how hard you hit someone, but how you make it look. And for this, we're going to use some simple props, such as an inflatable mallet, or some foam pipe lagging. And we have even got some special equipment, some foam mallets. Watch as I hit Spike. Not much effect, and it doesn't look very effective. So what you can do is to add some vocal reaction, like this. Ow! But it's better if you also add some physical reaction to go with the vocal reaction. Ow! And even better if you can then add some sound effects. So I've brought a pie dish and a frying pan from the kitchen. I have a wooden spoon. There we have some sound effects. Those can be added in post. So, the end result when you add the action to the vocal and physical reaction with the sound effect is like this. Ow! You could even add an even larger implement, such as a foam frying pan with a bigger sound effect. Ow! These can all be added together into what's called a tit-for-tat routine. Like this. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! And so it continues, but always making sure that you don't hit hard, because it's the reaction and the sound effects that makes it seem as though it's hurting, but you're not really hurting them. So there you have it. The first slapstick routine. Hello again, and welcome back to the second part of our workshop on slapstick routines. Now this is a classic. It's known as the plank, but we're not going to use wooden planks. No, no, no. We're going to use things that are soft and light, such as some more pipe lagging or a pool noodle. There we are. And this is how it works. You need the vocal and physical reactions and not to notice what's about to happen. So, first of all, I might take my pipe or plank in this direction. Oh! Or I might, of course, go in the other direction. Oh! I might even put it on my shoulder like so and turn around once more. Ah! Now, go and get our equipment. We've had some special equipment made, which looks like a big log, but is in fact covered with foam. Now, Spike has it here, and he's almost ready, so could you bring it over to me? Where? Oh! No, the other way! Oh! Oh! No, put it on your shoulder and bring it here. Ah! Oh! Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me! Fine. Oh, stupid boy! Ha! Ah, 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 ah. I'll get him back with the third routine. Welcome back to the final part of this short workshop on slapstick routines. This is going to be a finale routine, the ever popular custard pie routine. Do we have to? We certainly do. Now, the first thing you're going to need is going to be a paper or polystyrene plate, something that's light and not at all hard. And then there are some rules about how you apply the custard pie. You never throw the custard pie from the front, like so. That is because you might hit the nose. The nose? Or schnozzle. How will I smell? Terrible, as usual. Now, you always apply the pie from the side, like so. 
That way there's no danger of it hurting the nose. And you don't have to throw it hard at all because the impact and the surprise is all about the reaction and the impact of all the foam. So next you need some foam. And this is crazy soap, foaming soap. There we are, it's a bath time soap. And you can get it from any good supermarket. Not sponsored. <laughs> there we are. Is that enough? Yes! Not really. A little bit more. There we go. Now, once you've done that, there we are, making sure it's nice, thick, and creamy, like a lovely pie. And then we're almost ready for the routine. <laughs> Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? <laughs> well, I'm going to. <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love my job. Right. Come back here, Spike. What? Come back here. Oh.